Hi friends, it's Alexa. Uh, we are updating my binder today, which is very exciting. Um, definitely not as big of an update as the last time, but I think that's gonna be better for me. So we're gonna put all of these items away um, into the binder, cool. Uh, a note about my binder is that it's probably different than you last saw it. It's definitely different. This is a humongous five inch binder that I found at the Goodwill in this beautiful like purple color that I feel like uh, is so fitting. My other binder was getting kind of full and I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't bear to separate my collection. So now we just have this uh, massive binder that's hard to carry around and stuff, but currently fits everything in it. I'm also going to be answering questions. Uh, I asked on my Instagram for questions for a and A. I'm new here. You guys don't know that much about me. Um, so I'll be going through those as we go. This is gonna be hard, I already know. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go to the B stuff. That's where we're gonna start. I had a couple people ask actually, what is one PC I still really want or like a goal photo card? Um, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. Uh, I have a lot of what I want in my collection or I've at least like started to collect a lot of items for my collection. How am I doing this? Am I doing all the Namjoon stuff first? Why am I doing Namjoon first? Who becomes first, Alexa? Whatever, I'll fix that later. Um, yeah, I've, I've started a lot of the stuff that I like eventually want in my collection. So there's nothing like crazy wild out there that I like haven't gotten my hands on yet. Um, I think next I'm gonna focus on Japan Shop. What is, oh, these are for the hollows. I'm only collecting Namjoon for the hollow lucky draws. So I think I've got a lot of the stuff I kind of want, but I think what I'm going to be focusing on next is maybe broadcast photo cards for Namjoon. And the one that I've got my eyes on is Fire. The first photo I ever saved of Namjoon, um, like on my phone when I was first getting into BTS, was a picture from that photo shoot. So I think it's just kind of fitting. Um, okay, these are his deluxe lucky draws. Then we're going to put his essential lucky draws here. I don't know, is there a certain order that I want? This is like my favorite photo card, so... I'll put that one there. That's cute. Does that look good? And then the hollow ones will go here. I don't know, this might all get rearranged once they come in. I don't know if I love having them separated. Let me go ahead and switch these two because, oh, these should come first. He's older by like a couple months. Um. Okay, so, oh no, <laughs> I didn't put this back in. So yeah, that's my maybe goal photo card next. I'm not really too fussed about getting like a bunch of much older stuff. Like I only want to collect the stuff I really like the look of and I don't love the look of some of the other stuff. So A and B Trades asked, um, what's one collection goal you have? Okay, so it's kind of a similar question. Those are deluxe. Um, that's my favorite one, so I'm gonna put it there. Collection goal that I have that I'm gonna to try to finish, I think by the end of this year, or I don't know, whenever it happens, I guess. I really, really want to finish my DVD collection. Um, I really love the DVDs. I use them. They're probably my most used type of merch. Um, and all I'm missing is uh, HYOH Prologue. I have Epilogue, so I just need Prologue now, which that's going to be hard to get. But I think I like that because it's like green and green and like orange and orange. I don't know. Um, I'm a little sad that I'm not collecting the hollow lucky draws for Hobie, but I just, I couldn't, oh no, I could not buy another deluxe album. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> uh, so, cool. Those are those two B pages. Is it gonna bother me that these are switched? Mm, I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll come back to it. I think eventually like down long-term goals, I would like to collect more OT7 sets, um, like album sets of all the members, but that's not for now. Speaking of album cards, I'm gonna put away B, um, Essential. I am only missing Jimin for this set now. I think I have a trade lined up, but the person's just waiting to sort of receive their Jimin before we can trade. I have like an extra Hobie. So we'll see about that. Uh, AMB Trades, maybe it's AMB Trades, I don't know. They also asked, 
uh, how do you feel about Blonde Hobie and Purple JK? Yeah, that came out like this morning. I think it's um, the Louis Vuitton stuff was showing them with new hair. I feel really good about it. Um, I don't have many opinions on Purple JK because I couldn't really see it in the picture, but Blonde Silver Hobie has really been ruining my life lately um, in a good way. He looks like a full ass angel, like we already know he is. Um, but yeah, so I'm feeling very good about it. I love a blonde on almost everyone, so. I myself am a natural blonde. Okay, I think that's it for B. It's looking really nice. Oh, actually, something I did do is I took out my extra B Deluxe photo cards, and I thought that maybe I could use them for fillers in here. So maybe let's take um, Hobie's and Namjoon's and use like the back sides as fillers, which I thought would be kind of cute. Um, next question is from Madeline. Madeline is a friend who's also very much into BTS. Um, she asks a couple questions here. Favorite Namjoon hair? Uh, I have talked about this uh, endlessly on my channel, I'm sure. My favorite Namjoon hair is Platinum Namjoon. He, it looks so good. <laughs> it looks so good. Um, especially like th there's this moment where I'm like the thirstiest for Namjoon ever and it's the boy with love eye contact uh, like dance practice video where they're in that like warehouse kind of looking thing and he's in those shorts and he's blonde and his thighs and yeah so that specifically. Um, I know she didn't ask but for Hobie my favorite Hobie hair is chicken noodle soup Hobie. That's cute right? I really like that actually. Maybe I'll use them as fillers here too. Okay, moving on to other album PCs. Um, Madeline also asked, what is my current favorite BTS song? My all-time favorite BTS song is probably 134340. Fifth Muster was like very formative for me in that it's the first DVD I got kind of on a whim. Jane had an extra copy and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll buy that off of you. Um, and so it was like one of the first concerts I like, watched multiple times. Also, it's like a God tier set list and I don't know, the performance of 134340, I really, really love it in that one. So this is a finished OT7 set, probably one of my favorite sets uh, of all time. So that looks, I mean, so good. So good. That's probably my all-time favorite BTS song. Currently, I've been listening to Film Out a lot, which is just a very fun song musically as well. It's just like kind of an interesting song. I really like how it sounds. She also asked, what's my favorite Atlanta brewery? She's also local to Atlanta. So um, I don't drink that much beer. You know that. I do like beer and I especially like sours. So I think probably my favorite is Three Taverns in Decatur. So we've got Jimin, Answer S. They're a brewery that has like a specialty in sours. So probably them. Wow. <gasps> Another finished page. This looks, I mean, absolutely stunning. I love... I really, really love about Answer that these are all so like reddish pink toned and that this set is like so blue. I don't know. I think it probably means something poetically. Um, but damn, that looks so good. <laughs> A couple of people asked this. What got you started with collecting or what made you start collecting? Um, it's kind of obvious, I think, probably Jane. Jane's the person that got me into BTS in general. I was not into K-pop at all. Really knew nothing about it. Um, and she changed my world. <laughs> I always watch Jane's hauls and videos and like collecting videos. I didn't really know what was going on. Um, oh my God, another complete set. Oh, so satisfying. So beautiful. Yeah, I didn't really understand what she was doing, but I was always sort of enthralled by it. And then last October, um, I'd, been, I'd been into BTS for a couple months then. I was like, this could be for me as well. <laughs> this could be a good hobby for me. And so yeah, I just started doing it and uh, really lost my mind. Um, okay, next question. This is so hard to answer questions and put photo cards away. How do you guys do it? Um, McKinley, Mick Chim Chim on YouTube asked me a couple questions. Uh, she said, what was your first concert? I think my very first concert when I was like really, really young um, was Aaron Carter. <laughs> I think I saw him in concert. I know, I know I saw him in concert. I think that was my first one. Um, but the first concert that like I remember is I saw Maroon 5 and John Mayer with my parents in like 2005 when I was a wee little girl. Um, and that was fun. <laughs> 
But then I started going to a lot more concerts, like, in general. Um, I grew up at the Masquerade, basically, here in Atlanta. If you know what that is, it's like a, it's like an indie music venue, whatever. Um, I saw so many concerts there, so many Paramore and, and other concerts like that. Um, so I did that quite a bit in my youth. Still haven't seen BTS though, although I have tickets to go see them. Please, please, please come back. Uh, give us our tour dates. Um, favorite artist outside of K-pop? Yeah, it's weird that I'm into K-pop because, I mean, I guess I like pop music in general, but uh, I really like like singer songwriters. That's typically what I'm into. So Sarah Bareilles is like someone that comes to mind is like one of the favorite artists, Haley Williams. I also like more like indie music, Young the Giants, Front Bottoms. Um, I like rap too. So like Child Gambino is one of my favorite artists. Um, am I going in the wrong way? No. Um, so yeah, uh, but, but it's kind of weird. K-pop is an outlier, I think. Um, and it's mostly just BTS. I'm just now getting into some other groups. Okay, got a DVD card to put away. Wow, I am completing so many pages today. This is so satisfying. Okay, this is Namjoon's Europe DVD, Love Yourself in Europe. Um, I know technically, oh gosh, I do that all the time. Come back. Um, I know technically these aren't in the correct order and like the order in which they happened, but I liked having the two like selfie cards on the side and then the performance card here in the middle. Wow, that looks so beautiful. <laughs> Next question, McKinley and Jane both asked me, have you accepted your double bias basically? Um, I think I always knew when I first was getting into BTS, uh, and Namjoon obviously stood out immediately to me because I'm obsessed with him. Um, but Hobie was the person that I like kept getting drawn to. And at first I was like frustrated because this is Namjoon's 22920 set. Um, at first I was frustrated because he was like one of the only people I could recognize. So I was like, oh, of course that's J-Hope. Like I, I know him, I know that one. Um, when I was like struggling with all the other members and like figuring out who they were and what their names were. Um, so at first it was like, I felt a little bit of animosity towards him because I couldn't stop noticing him. So I think deep down, I kind of always knew that Hobie was also a bias for me. Um, yeah, it's nice being double biased. And I feel like I've got a powerhouse in that they're both so talented in similar ways and different ways. So um, yeah, they're always they're always a, a good duo to watch. Um, this is number one, two, three, four, five. No, wait, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I would prefer to put these in an eight pocket page, but I am desperately out of them. So they're going in a nine pocket page right now. This is the majority of them. I think everyone but this one is horizontal. So I would just like to have them horizontal. Next, we've got fourth muster. I'm just skipping third muster altogether. I really don't like the photo cards from third muster. Uh, oh, I forgot to cut these. Okay, they're coming out of their sleeve then. Um, and I'll do that later. Next question. Lunar.abyss on Instagram said, what is your favorite album uh, set, or what is your favorite album photo cards and your favorite tour photo card set? Um, this is three, one, two, three, no, one, two, three. <laughs> My favorite album set is probably her version V, this one. I just, I don't know. I like that there's not a lot going on except the bright colors and they all look super handsome, um, especially Namjoon, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think everyone looks like really, really good in this set. So that's probably my favorite. My favorite tour set, I can give you a sneak peek, is probably, is this probably everyone's favorite tour set? <laughs> because the tour sets kind of don't do that much for me. Um, they've been kind of boring. This one, Love Yourself in Japan. Um, I think everyone looks really, really cute in this, especially Jin. He looks fine as fuck in them. So that. Um, I also like Love Yourself, the Korean version as well. I think these are really pretty. Um, but yeah, everything past this, the tour sets are just a little boring. So I'd like to see something new. This is so disorganized. <laughs> I feel confused. Are you guys confused? Um, this is one of eight. Uh, Allison underscore 98 asked, what is my favorite June PC? Probably Memories of 2017. Little Flower Boy. Here, let's go back. It's right here. Yeah. This guy. He's so beautiful. He's so soft. I love his the color of his hair. I love that he's got a little flower. I love that his hand is in this picture. Hands. 
He, got, he like always has hands in his picture though. He does not know how to keep his hands out of his face. Um, okay, and then the rest of the questions are from Jane. So I'm less stressed now. Um, because Jane knows all the answers to these questions. <laughs> She's like my main confidant. Um, this is Pitt's Muster, so let's go ahead and go to that. Uh, Jane asks, what's my favorite photo card that I own? Um, probably the ones that I'm about to put away, which are Namjoon's on broadcast cards. Um, they're so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Okay, now I have a bunch of Tor PCs to put away. I did separate out Muster and Tor in my binder, um, which I think I'm liking. Jane also asked, what is my favorite merch uh, so far, like BTS merch? I mentioned this earlier, but absolutely DVDs. They are, they're just the merch that I get the most like bang out of my buck for. Um, I watch them all the time. They're expensive, but like, I feel like they're worth it. Um, you're getting so much like content there. So definitely DVDs. And that's why I spent so much time um, collecting them. So this is actually going to be, nope, this is the wrong place. Bonbon Con, I consider a muster. So, so I went the wrong way. But I'm actually really excited for, um, this is one of each member. I'm actually really excited for these Mots 1 photo books. I think they're going to be a really exciting new piece of merch. I obviously was not around for like the Wings concept books or essay books or any of that stuff. Um, so I'm excited to collect those. I, like a lot of people, <laughs> when they finally dropped because they hadn't told us the price of them, I panicked and bought two. I was only planning on buying one, but um, yeah, I just, the, the price was just so much more, not affordable, they're expensive, but the price of two ended up being what I thought one was going to cost. So I was like, mm, might as well buy two. It was a dark moment. Um, I was a little margarita drunk as well. I'd almost forgot about the drop of the merch. And so uh, I was frazzled. What can I say? Okay, we've got some Mott's Tour units to put away. I have the rest of these on the way. Um, I don't know exactly how I want to set them up. I guess I'll just do them in number order right now. But I think later I might do them by like color tone because half of them are like this, you know, cool tone and half are warm. So eight of eight goes, when I do these, I do one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, okay. Um, Jane also asked my favorite album. I think she probably means BTS album. So I'm gonna answer it as if she did mean BTS album. Uh, I thought really long and hard about this and I actually think it's You Never Walk Alone. Uh, I really like Wings and then You Never Walk Alone is basically just Wings with a little more spice, you know what I mean? <laughs> With Spring Day and You Never Walk Alone. So yeah, but I think a very close second would be Tear. I think Tear has a bunch of my favorite songs. I'm finally finishing this set, yay! Tear is a bunch of my favorite songs, but I think as a cohesive album, I really, really like You Never Walk Alone. Yay, I finally finished it. I thought I'd finished it so long ago, but I didn't have this card, even though I thought I did. Okay. Last question, um, and I think I only have a couple things to put away. Yep, um, I totally missed them in the binder, but gotta go all the way back. Jane's last question was, are there any other K-pop groups you like or are intrigued by? Um, I obviously like in hyphen or in hyphen, I collect for them like briefly. I was collecting more, but I'm about to get rid of a bunch of my stuff um, just cause it's not working out for me <laughs> to, to collect them. But yeah, I like in hyphen. I listen to TXT as well. Um, and I'm just now getting into other groups. So my friend who I got into BTS, I don't know where this goes. Where am I going? Where am I going? My friend who I got into BTS has actually been making me a playlist of other K-pop groups. I think who I'm intrigued by so far um, are Newest. Newest, I don't know how to pronounce that. Twice I'm enjoying. Uh, Red Velvet. Shiny. <laughs> Jane's trying to get me into Shiny. She's not trying that hard though. She could be trying harder, I will say. Um, but I really like Don't Call Me. I really like that. I've listened to some of their other songs and haven't liked them as much as that. So um, I don't know. But uh, and I'm like curious about Seventeen, mostly because I've seen some people that like collect them. And I think their like <laughs> albums and photo cards are very aesthetic. I know nothing about their music. So um, but yeah, those groups I'm kind of intrigued by. Where do I put my broadcast cards? There they are. Okay. Okay. 
that was all the questions. And these are the last two things to put away. These are Namjoon's on broadcast cards, which I don't think you've seen me haul yet because I haven't posted that video. But yeah, for a long time, these were the cards I was like most wanting to have. Should I do cute then cool or cool then cute? I think cute then cool. Okay, that's already coated. Yeah, the one thing about like if I do collect more broadcast PCs is that like I don't know exactly how I'm gonna store them. I saw um, is it Mila? I think it's Mila uh, collect Yoon on Instagram and YouTube. She puts her broadcast photos like in the album PC section in like the era that they go. And I don't know, maybe as I collect more of them, I'll do that as well. I really like how that looks in her binder. Okay, that did not take that long. That's good. That was just a brief uh, putting photo cards away video um, and answering some questions. I'll definitely try to do more Q&A in the future. This was kind of like a last minute thing. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Um, and I'll save them for next time I do a sorting video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a, a like or a thumbs up or whatever you want to do. I'll be back in the future with more videos. Happy collecting. Bye.